and I would do it, except, um, and, and I would do it, except I have, uh, I'm told now, I'm not kidding. Uh, I have never played that instrument either, and usually because of the weather and because of what had happened. The reason I'm wearing this particular shirt, which I have never worn on the stage before, nor this t-shirt underneath it, is because my luggage was lost on the way here. I understand it's somewhere in Philadelphia under three feet of snow. Oh yeah, <laughs> believe me, I am hot. Um, I, all right. Are you joking? I mean, you lost your mind. Yeah, he's getting naked on the stage. From now on, that's what I'm doing. Okay, Frank, there's no sound. I love you guys, too. Thank you so much. You're the best. Coming out in the middle of the week and doing what we're doing here. Ah, a little bit of mid-high. Not necessarily more volume. Let me see if I can make this work. Yeah, yeah. I just have to figure this out. It's the blind leading the blind. Ah. So the most inspirational person in my life, because in 1963 I turned on the television on a Sunday night, saw the four lads from Liverpool, the greatest band, the greatest songwriter, the most incredibly influential, changed the world more than any other human being is my dear and uh, long-lost friend, John Lennon. And here's a song that we played together, Drunk, on New Year's Eve at my house in uh, Encino, California. I just come off this big uh, stadium tour in 74, 75. It was New Year's Eve, 74, 5. And he got to my house about 1 o'clock in the morning, and he was in his cups with a driver, thank God. And I had been there partaking in a stupid bet and dare. I bet you can't drink 16 shots of tequila back to back. No. Are you kidding? <laughs> I am definitely <laughs> So this is a song that we sang together. And I actually retaught him a couple of the others, but I want to ask you to join me. Too high. 